Hi guys, Paul Dunn here. How are you doing? I uh, hope you're all well. Um, okay, I've not done a video for a while, so I'm going to do one now. I'll introduce you to the new snake. Um, I had to part with Levi, uh, sadly. Um, basically, my room is just the back bedroom in my house. Um, and the room isn't big enough to accommodate two really big cobras. Um, look here, I need to wind his vivarium so it's going to take up a good foot. If I kept the forest, I'd probably have to upgrade to uh, maybe a 5x2 or 6x2. Um, so that would take up more space. So the plan was to trade Levi for a smaller cobra, maybe a cape cobra or something like that. But no, Paul trades for a snouty cobra, which is another quite large fucking cobra species. Um, so we'll just have to see how it pans out. Um, I do have the snouty in the bin, um, and I do take notes. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'll explain why I take notes, right? I do have autism, and um, my ability to store all of this information is just fucking pion in one ear out the other. Um, it's the practical shit that I'm good at, right? Um, now I tried a video before, this is my third attempt. Um, I tried doing the notes for the snake out, it's a little shit. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you some information on the snake, then I'll get the snake out when I've no notes to fucking read. Um, so, Snouted Cobra, Naja Analfera, um, also called the Banded Egyptian Cobra. They were, um, like, uh, they were uh, classed as like the Egyptian Cobra or a form of Egyptian Cobra or something like that. But then they got split up, so you got your Egyptian Cobra, then you got your fucking Snowies and stuff like that. Some along the fucking lines anyway, right? Um, but they're quite a large Cobra, um, averaging 1.2 to 1.8 metres, so that's 3.9 to 5.9 feet. They'd be as well just saying fucking 4 foot and 6 foot, eh? Um, however, they can get really big and grow up to like 8 foot. They're like a nice heavy bodied big fucking long snake, eh? Um, you do got a banded variation. Now the banded ones are cool as fuck, eh? Um, and they've got the bands down the back. Usually a blue black with like a yellow a yellow brown band in, so it's like black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. They're really cool. Um, the one in here is just your average plain jewel snouty, eh? not banded, but he's a cool little snake. Um, I found with him as well that his uh, his scales are sort of like they feel keeled, like it's rough. Um, every other cobra that I've kept have like really smooth scales, but his are like quite rough. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for that, maybe to do with the habitat that it comes from or something like that. Um, but they're found, uh, these are an African cobra, they're found in North East South Africa, uh, Southern Mozambique, Eastern Botswana, Malawi, throughout Zimbabwe and parts of Swaziland. Um, they inhabit arid and moist savannah, particularly in bushveld or lowveld areas. Uh, they're not found in forests. Um, if, if one were to find a termite mound, it would inhabit that termite mound for years if left undisturbed. They like to go back to the same area, they keep the same den, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, they're nocturnal, so they like start hunting as the sun goes down. Like, um, but they love basking in the sun. Uh, they eat toads, rodents, birds, eat the birds' eggs as well, lizards, and eat other snakes. I like to eat puff adders, um, which is quite cool. Uh, so the venom, they're highly venomous. Um, they've got neurotoxic venom. I think there's, um, I think they're like neurotoxic, and I'm sure there's cytotoxic is the word that I'm looking for. If I'm wrong, please fucking shoot me. Um, but uh, they're neurotoxic and the bite can cause blistering and stuff as well, so I don't know if that's cyt cytotoxic, um, I think is the word I'm looking for. Um, but they're neurotoxic, um, my right, it's terrible. 
intravenous LD50 value is 1.9 micrograms or kilograms or whatever the fuck that is, mg, kg. Yeah. God, I'm fucking useless at this shit, man. But anyway, a bite can affect breathing and if left untreated may cause respiratory failure and death. Initial symptoms include pain, local swelling that may result in blistering. See, that's the cytotoxic thing that I'm talking about. Um, and typically, victims are usually bitten on the lower leg at night. Anyway, let's get rid of the fucking notes and let's get the snake out. Sorry for that, but this was like the easiest way to do it. As I say, this is my third attempt at this video. And... I tried to get the snake out and he was an arsehole. He was still an arsehole, he's in the bin and he won't change. Um, maybe through working well he'll change, but he's in the bin, so we'll get the snake out and we'll let you see the snake. Uh, so guys, this is fudge. Don't ask me why fudge, I think it was a colour, the uh, first time I seen him. Uh, and it just reminded me of fudge. Fudge isn't purple, but it reminded me of fudge. So he's called Fudge. So uh, don't bite the hook. He's feisty. Hopefully through handling and that'll change. Hey guys, this is Fudge. Um, the snout is Cobra. Naja Analfera. I wonder if he'll let me hold, hold them up to the camera so you can see him. But yeah, that's fudge. Little fudge eh? Don't come up the hook. Fudge of a jay. He is quite flighty at the moment. He's far more feisty than what Levi was. Um, he loves to come over and see me. No fucking danger. Get away. Um, he is quicker, far more highly strung out than Levi was. What the fuck did I do? See that? Likes to just hood up and come at you for no reason at all. Um, you'll notice on my pictures he does have the... <laughs> it's like a wee white snout, it's cool as hell. Calm down dude, calm down. Um, Try to keep him at a distance. There we go, there's that hood. See, he's very alert, Cobra, very alert. Very pissed off. He loves to tail whip as well, so I'm hoping that he gets out of the tail whipping stage. Um, I had a tie pan that used to tail whip, and it would tail whip around the viv and make the end of the tail bleed. So I'm hoping that through regular handling, this little dude calms down a bit. At the moment he's pretty highly strung. Um, you often find that I repeat myself, so if I repeat myself I apologise. Uh, you'll often find that I do go off on one and speak a load of shit, so if I do that I apologise. There's that hood again, don't come at me man. Um, I do like to always get down low with the snake because birds of prey will come in for above. Um, so I like to get low um, so I'm not hovering over the top of them. There we go, there's that hood. See that? And he'll follow. You watch, he's a very alert snake. And then he backs off. Don't bite yourself up. There we go. Quite a nervous little snake at the moment. Um, as I say, hopefully, hopefully in a couple of weeks he's calmed down a bit. Um, I'm usually in here constantly working with him, uh, doing the water feeding on a Friday, stuff like that. See, he's going mental with the hook, he's off his fucking nut. Um, so, yeah, hopefully in time he'll calm down a bit. He might not calm down much, but. Hopefully I can't say more than this. Realises that I'm not in the room to hurt him. 
Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, may, maybe in my pictures, if you have a look at my pictures, you might see it. But the scales are rougher than uh, the other cobras that I've kept. Don't bite the hook, you nutcase. You are mental. There we go, he's, he's hidden. There we go. Watch your foot, dude. Watch your foot, because the hand ain't listening. You alright, man? Keeps whipping his tail with his tail, and then he gives himself a fright and tries to bite his tail. It's your tail. Um, but yeah, he's got a little white scale right on the end of his nose. Um, that's why they're called snouted cobras. It's like the extreme form of the hognose snake. It's fucking mental. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You going to sit there for camera? Yeah, you watch your hook. You watch your hook. There we go. How cool is that? You're watching the hook, man. But yeah, he's young. I don't know exactly how old he is. Maybe two years old. Um, I don't know if he's been handled much. I don't think he's been handled too much because he is quite pissy. Quite highly strung. You're watching the hook. Watch the hook. Don't bite the hook. Watch the hook. Yeah, there we go. Start for the camera. Don't turn around. Look at that hook. There we go. Um, what a picture, eh? I might actually steal the frame and use it as a picture. It's a beauty, man. Sitting behind. Whoa, don't come at me. See? Very highly strung. Slightest little movement. And he's on you. Very alert snake. Very, very alert. See, I'm watching the hook. It's, um, God. I don't know what it reminds me. I don't know why the fuck I thought it fudge. Because fudge isn't purple. Okay, he's got purple on him. It's cool as hell. Um, he reminds me, he does remind me of a sweet. There we go, you watch my foot. Watch my foot. See, as he's hooding, he's backing off at the same time. They don't want to attack. He'd rather go the opposite way. You're right, Fudge. You're right. You're right, dude. Really? But yeah, it's a new challenge. Yeah, I do feel gutted that I had to part with Levi. Um, but I have to get real. Uh, this vivarium is going to come out to about here. That's eating up. Like that much floor space. To have another big cobra. See up more floor space. Yeah, I need because Luke is going to be such a big snake. I need all the floor space that I can get. Um, so yeah, sadly, I I, I wouldn't part with Luke, so it had to be Levi. Um, but yeah, I wanted another cobra. I love cobras. Um, so a snouty. Um, Lucky he's still small, so he's still got a bit of grow to do. Um, so we can see how it goes. See, he's backing off again. He's getting closer to you guys. He'd rather not bite. He'd rather just get out of there. Now I've just got comfy and you're on the move again. See, he's quite quick. Very highly strong. Likes to get for A to B as fast as he can. Um, Hopefully on a Friday, I can do a feeding video with him, and that'll be like his first feed with me. We'll find out what the feeding response is like. Um, apparently he eats like a pig, so we're cool there. Wonderful, I may put him up to the camera again. Oh, shut up.
Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let's see and get a look on. Don't stab him with your tail. Good people. Yeah, there he is. Don't come back up the hook. That ain't allowed. Don't, don't know if you got a look at him that time, guys. As always, to any new keepers out there, if you're um, thinking on keeping venomous snakes or if you've got venomous snakes you've just started, don't copy anything that I do. Um, as I say, I get them low with the snakes. I like to get them over them. So I'm not hovering over the top. As you can see, this is a very fast snake. You can get over to me really quickly. I don't recommend sitting down with a snake as highly strong as this. For me, personally, this is just how I'm comfortable. Um, this is how I do things. Uh, I don't recommend it. You've got to do what you feel comfortable with. Um, so don't look at me and think, oh, I'm going to start doing that shit. Nah. Be you. Don't try and be somebody else. Just be you. Um, find your own style. Find what you're comfortable doing and fucking do it your way. Um, I do it my way. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't. If you like it, thank you. If you don't, off you fuck. Nah. Um, you don't have to fucking watch it if you don't like it. But I know you are fucking watching it because you're curious. <laughs> um, but yeah, just don't don't try and copy. Um, as I say, do things your way. Uh, do things how you're comfortable with. When it comes to venomous snakes, there's no room for error. So everything that you do, you have to be 100% comfortable with. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, if you're having second thoughts, just simply don't fucking do it, because you might die. Um, it's as simple as that. See, that's I'm slowing down a bit, slowing down a bit. But I'm waiting for that sudden burst, that sudden explosion. Usually I find with snakes like this, if I get down low, if I'm nice and slow with them, keep them calm, then they usually repay the favour. He's slowing down. He's either tired or he's starting to realise that I'm not going to hurt him. Hopefully he's only been here since Monday. This is on Wednesday, so there's still a lot of work to do with this guy. Hopefully within a few weeks he's conditioned to the hook. He's calm. Um, he's more at ease with everything that I do with him. It's just a case of waiting and seeing. If you get him used to my touch, um, see, because I put my thumb on it, my hand's open. You put your thumb on him, he's like, what the fuck is up? But what a beautiful animal. Um, I really, really, really do look forward to raising this little guy up. Um, he's going to be a lot of fun. He is a lot of fun. There we go, because I touched him. There's that hood. Calm down, dude, calm down. I don't know if you've seen it when I've held him up to the camera, but his wee nose has got like a wee white scale. That's brilliant. And um, Just by looking at that white scale, you can... See exactly why he's called a snouty cobra. It, could, it couldn't stand out any fucking more. It's like, bing, look at my nose. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I've not done a video for a while. Um, I will better do one. I will better do one. I better do one. Um, so this is a new snake. I am going to do feeding videos for you guys. Um, but usually I'm on my own in here. Um, nobody in the house likes the snakes. So it's me. Um, so I have to film everything myself. These are easy because I'm here and I just have to put the camera on a tripod. 
feeding videos are a wee bit harder because I've got to like do everything at once. Hence why I've not done them yet. But um, I will get feeding videos up for you guys. Just bear with me. Um, please, if you enjoy, please share the link to my page. Um, get your friends to subscribe if they like snakes. Um, as I say, if you don't like what I do, don't fucking watch it. It's simple. Um, all your criticism and your bad fucking words and that, you can fuck right off with that. Because I've not got time for it. Um, so if you don't like what I do, just fucking don't watch it. It's easy. Um, big shout out to Danielle, sweet girl. Hello, how you doing? Hope you're okay. Sorry for the French. Um, I speak French an awful lot in these videos. I don't know your name. I just know your mum's name. Sorry. But I hope you're having a great day. Um, and your mum says that you like my videos. So I'm saying hello to you. So hi there. Um, I hope you like fudge. Just fudge. Um, new snake, eh? I don't know what time it is over there. Um, you guys are about five hours, so it must be about two o'clock where you are in the afternoon. So I hope you're having a great afternoon and I hope you're behaving for your mum. Um, you've got to be good, do what your mum tells you. If you're bad, we send fudge over to deal with you. Uh, who else gets a shout out? Who else? My friend Sam. Hello Sam. Um, thanks for your kind words. Um, really. I can't thank you enough. Um, I'm blown away. Um, I really am. Like, see I'm speechless again. I don't know what to say. Um, just thank you very much. Um, hello to Neville. Neville if you're watching you gave me a shout out dude. So, you're right, Neville. You need to get your arse over to Scotland. <laughs> Got five snakes. <laughs> um, we got worms out in the garden and won't catch them. Uh, but yeah, hi, Neville. But yeah, guys, that's God, that's it. That's out of Make You See the Snake. Of. Um, Read information. I've spoke a load of shit. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, just have to put the snake back. He'll be happy to get back in his bed. Uh, this is the second time he's been out today. So you'll be happy just to go and chill out. Wouldn't you be, dude? Wouldn't you? But we'll see what we'll do is, like, maybe... You watch this video, you'll see, you see what it's like just now. I'll maybe do another video in, like, a month or two. And then we can, like, look at the change in the snake. See if he's, like, stopped hooding his match and stopped trying to bite and stuff. Um, or he might just typically want to be an arsehole all his life, which suits me to the ground, because everything here is puppy fucking dog time, so... Um, to have an arsehole in the collection would be great. Look, there we go, there's that hood again. He's like, come on, that's your tail. Are you watching the hook? Are you watching the hook? There we go. How cool is he though? He is absolutely awesome. He's on that hook. Is that a bad hook? It's your bad hook. Oh no, it touched you. You alright dude? Look there's a handle, look at that, it's bigger eh? Whoa! You got a big handle. My god. If you can see, you might see like on the back of the hood there. How cute these scales are. I don't know if you can see that. I can't even zoom in, I've not got a remote so sorry. But yeah, that's Fudge, Snouted Cobra, Naja and Alifera. Um, beautiful snake, beautiful snake. 
So, so guys, oh god, we're touching. So what I'll do is I'm going to put the snake away, and then I'm going to end this video on that note. Won't come back at me. Um, I hope through this COVID fish you've all been well. Um, this has been fucking nuts, ain't it? Fudge, say goodbye. Say goodbye to people. Say goodbye. Bye. Right, I need your viv. I need your viv. There you go. Go on, get in. And that's him away. And it's viv. Shut the door. Shut the door. Ugh. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe. Please share it. Please um, tell your friends. Uh, I'm available for funerals, weddings and bar mitzvahs. Um, just give me a call. We'll see what we can sort out. Um, but yeah guys, stay safe. Um, practice safe social, social, social distancing. Couldn't fucking say that. Um, do what the government tells you. Yeah. Uh, wait, just like, wear a mask. Stay safe guys. Um, the way I see it, if you're going to get this shit, you're going to fucking get it, mask or not. Um, but just be careful, stay safe. Um, I'll get more videos up soon, so bear with me. Uh, hopefully next I can get onto the feeding videos and we'll get them done. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, this has been Paul Dunn, and we'll catch you later. Peace.